A biome is a community of plants and animals that have common characteristics for the environment they exist in. They can be found over a range of continents. Biomes are distinct biological communities that have formed in response to a shared physical climate. Biome is a broader term than habitat. Any biome can comprise a variety of habitats. While a biome can cover large areas, a microbiome is a mix of organisms that coexist in a defined space on a much smaller scale. For example, the human microbiome is the collection of bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms that are present on or in a human body. A biota is the total collection of organisms of a geographic region or a time period, from local geographic scales and instantaneous temporal scales all the way up to whole planet and whole timescale spatiotemporal scales. The biotas of the Earth make up the biosphere. Topic. History of the concept The term was suggested in 1916 by Clements, originally as a synonym for Biotic Community of Mobius 1877. Later, it gained its current definition, based on earlier concepts of phytophysiognomy, formation and vegetation used in opposition to flora, with the inclusion of the animal element and the exclusion of the taxonomic element of species composition. In 1935, Tansley added the climatic and soil aspects to the idea, calling it ecosystem. The International Biological Program 1964 projects popularized the concept of biome, however, in some contexts, the term biome is used in a different manner. In German literature, particularly in the Walter terminology, the term is used similarly as biotope, a concrete geographical unit, while the biome definition used in this article is used as an international, non-regional terminology, irrespectively of the continent in which an area is present, it takes the same biome name and corresponds to his zonobiome, orobiome, and pedobiome. Biomes determined by climate zone, altitude or soil. In Brazilian literature, the term biome is sometimes used as synonym of biogeographic province, an area based on species composition, the term floristic province being used when plant species are considered, or also as synonym of the morphoclimatic and phytogeographical domain of Absaber, a geographic space with subcontinental dimensions, with the predominance of similar geomorphologic and climatic characteristics, and of a certain vegetation form. Both include many biomes in fact. Topic. Classifications To divide the world in a few ecological zones is a difficult attempt, notably because of the small-scale variations that exist everywhere on Earth and because of the gradual changeover from one biome to the other. Their boundaries must therefore be drawn arbitrarily and their characterization made according to the average conditions that predominate in them. A 1978 study on North American grasslands found a positive logistic correlation between evapotranspiration in millimeter per year and above ground net primary production in gram per meter two per year. The general results from the study were that precipitation and water use led to above-ground primary production, while solar irradiation and temperature lead to below-ground primary production roots, and temperature and water lead to cool and warm season growth habit. These findings help explain the categories used in Holdridge's bioclassification scheme see below, which were then later simplified by Whitaker. The number of classification schemes and the variety of determinants used in those schemes, however, should be taken as strong indicators that biomes do not fit perfectly into the classification schemes created. Topic. Holdridge 1947-1964 Life Zones Holdridge classified climates based on the biological effects of temperature and rainfall on vegetation under the assumption that these two abiotic factors are the largest determinants of the types of vegetation found in a habitat. Holdridge uses the four axes to define 30 so-called humidity provinces, which are clearly visible in his diagram. 
While this scheme largely ignores soil and sun exposure, Holdridge acknowledged that these were important. Topic: <laughs> Alle 1949 biome types. The principal biome types by Alle 1949: Tundra, Taiga, Deciduous forest, Grasslands. Desert High plateaus Tropical forest Minor terrestrial biomes Kende 1961, biomes The principal biomes of the world by Kende 1961. Terrestrial Temperate deciduous forest Coniferous forest Woodland Chaparral Tundra Grassland Desert Tropical savanna Tropical forest Marine Oceanic plankton and nectin Balanoid gastropod thalophyte Pelecipod annelid Coral reef Topic. Whitaker 1962, 1970, 1975 Biome types Whitaker classified biomes using two abiotic factors, precipitation and temperature. His scheme can be seen as a simplification of Holdridge's, more readily accessible, but missing Holdridge's greater specificity. Whitaker based his approach on theoretical assertions and empirical sampling. He was in a unique position to make such a holistic assertion because he had previously compiled a review of biome classifications. Topic. Key definitions for understanding Whitaker's scheme Physiognomy, the apparent characteristics, outward features, or appearance of ecological communities or species. Biome, a grouping of terrestrial ecosystems on a given continent that is similar in vegetation structure, physiognomy, features of the environment and characteristics of their animal communities. Formation, a major kind of community of plants on a given continent. Biome type, grouping of convergent biomes or formations of different continents, defined by physiognomy. Formation type, a grouping of convergent formations. Whitaker's distinction between biome and formation can be simplified. Formation is used when applied to plant communities only, while biome is used when concerned with both plants and animals. Whitaker's convention of biome type or formation type is simply a broader method to categorize similar communities. Topic. Whitaker's parameters for classifying biome types Whitaker, seeing the need for a simpler way to express the relationship of community structure to the environment, used what he called gradient analysis of ecocline patterns to relate communities to climate on a worldwide scale. Whitaker considered four main ecoclines in the terrestrial realm. Intertidal levels, the wetness gradient of areas that are exposed to alternating water and dryness with intensities that vary by location from high to low tide. Climatic moisture gradient. Temperature gradient by altitude. Temperature gradient by latitude. Along these gradients, Whitaker noted several trends that allowed him to qualitatively establish biome types. The gradient runs from favorable to the extreme, with corresponding changes in productivity. Changes in physiognomic complexity vary with how favorable of an environment exists decreasing community structure and reduction of stratal differentiation as the environment becomes less favorable. Trends in the diversity of structure follow trends in species diversity, alpha and beta species diversities decrease from favorable to extreme environments. Each growth form i.e. grasses, shrubs, etc. has its characteristic place of maximum importance along the ecoclines. 
The same growth forms may be dominant in similar environments in widely different parts of the world. Whitaker summed the effects of gradients 3 and 4 to get an overall temperature gradient and combined this with a gradient 2, the moisture gradient, to express the above conclusions in what is known as the Whitaker classification scheme. The scheme graphs average annual precipitation x-axis versus average annual temperature y-axis to classify biome types. Topic: <inaudible> Biome types. Tropical rainforest. Tropical seasonal rainforest. Deciduous. Semi-deciduous. Temperate giant rainforest. Montane rainforest Temperate deciduous forest Temperate evergreen forest Needle leaf Sclerophyll Subarctic subalpine needle-leaved forests taiga, Elf and woodland Thorn forests and woodlands Thorn scrub Temperate woodland Temperate shrublands Deciduous Heath Sclerophyll Subalpine needleleaf, Subalpine broadleaf, Savanna, Temperate grassland, Alpine grasslands, Tundra, Tropical desert, Warm temperate desert, Cool temperate desert scrub, Arctic alpine desert, Bog, Tropical fresh water swamp forest, Temperate fresh water swamp forest Mangrove swamp Salt marsh Wetland Topic. Goodall 1974 Ecosystem types The multi-authored series Ecosystems of the World, edited by David W. Goodall, provides a comprehensive coverage of the major ecosystem types or biomes on Earth. Topic. Walter 1976, 2002, Zonobiomes The eponymously named Heinrich Walter classification scheme considers the seasonality of temperature and precipitation. The system, also assessing precipitation and temperature, finds nine major biome types, with the important climate traits and vegetation types. The boundaries of each biome correlate to the conditions of moisture and cold stress that are strong determinants of plant form, and therefore the vegetation that defines the region. Extreme conditions, such as flooding in a swamp, can create different kinds of communities within the same biome. Topic. Schultz 1988 Ecozones Schultz 1988, defined nine ecozones note that his concept of ecozone is more similar to the concept of biome used in this article than to the concept of ecozone of BBC. Polar, subpolar zone Boreal zone Humid mid-latitudes Arid mid-latitudes Tropical, subtropical arid lands Mediterranean type subtropics Seasonal tropics Humid subtropics Humid tropics Topic. Bailey 1989 Ecoregions Robert G. Bailey nearly developed a biogeographical classification system of ecoregions for the United States in a map published in 1976. He subsequently expanded the system to include the rest of North America in 1981, and the world in 1989. The Bailey system, based on climate, is divided into seven domains polar, humid temperate, dry, humid, and humid tropical, with further divisions based on other climate characteristics subarctic, warm temperate, hot temperate, and subtropical, marine and continental, lowland and mountain. 100 polar domain 120 tundra division Copen, feet. M120 tundra division, mountain provinces 130 subarctic division Copen, e. M130 subarctic division, mountain provinces 
200 humid temperate domain 210 warm continental division Copen, portion of DCB M210 warm continental division mountain provinces 220 hot continental division Copen, portion of DCA M220 hot continental division mountain provinces 230 Subtropical Division Copen, portion of CF M230 Subtropical Division, Mountain Provinces 240 Marine Division Copen, Du M240 Marine Division, Mountain Provinces 250 Prairie Division Copen, Arid Portions of CF, DCA, DCB 260 Mediterranean Division Copen, Seas M260 Mediterranean Division, Mountain Provinces 300 Dry Domain 310 Tropical, Subtropical Steppe Division M310 Tropical, Subtropical Steppe Division, Mountain Provinces 320 Tropical, Subtropical Desert Division 330 Temperate Steppe Division 340 Temperate Desert Division 400 Humid Tropical Domain 410 Savannah Division 420 Rainforest Division Topic Olson and Dinerstein 1998 Biomes for WWF Global 200 A team of biologists convened by the World Wildlife Fund WWF developed a scheme that divided the world's land area into biogeographic realms called ecozones in a BBC scheme and these into ecoregions Olson and Dinerstein 1998 etc each ecoregion is characterized by a main biome also called major habitat type. This classification is used to define the global 200 list of ecoregions identified by the WWF as priorities for conservation. For the terrestrial ecoregions, there is a specific ecoid, format XXNNNN. XX is the biogeographic realm, NN is the biome number, NN is the individual number. Topic. Biogeographic realms terrestrial and freshwater. Na, Nearctic Pa, Palearctic At, Afrotropic Im, Indomalaya AA, Australasia Nt, Neotropic Oc, Oceania N, Antarctic The applicability of the realm scheme above, based on Udvardi 1975, to most freshwater taxa is unresolved. Topic. Biogeographic realms marine. Arctic Temperate Northern Atlantic Temperate Northern Pacific Tropical Atlantic Western Indo-Pacific Central Indo-Pacific Eastern Indo-Pacific Tropical Eastern Pacific Temperate South America Temperate Southern Africa Temperate Australasia Southern Ocean Topic. Biomes Terrestrial Tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forests tropical and subtropical, humid Tropical and subtropical dry broadleaf forests tropical and subtropical, semi-humid Tropical and subtropical coniferous forests tropical and subtropical, semi-humid Temperate broadleaf and mixed forests temperate, humid Temperate coniferous forests temperate, humid to semi-humid Boreal forests, taiga, subarctic, humid. Tropical and subtropical grasslands, savannas, and shrublands, tropical and subtropical, semi-arid. Temperate grasslands, savannas, and shrublands, temperate, semi-arid. Flooded grasslands and savannas, temperate to tropical, fresh or brackish water inundated. Montane grasslands and shrublands, alpine or montane climate. Tundra, Arctic. Mediterranean forests, woodlands, and scrub or sclerophyll forests temperate warm, semi-humid to semi-arid with winter rainfall. Deserts and xeric shrublands temperate to tropical, arid. Mangrove subtropical and tropical, salt water inundated. 
Topic: <inaudible> Biomes freshwater. According to the WWF, the following are classified as freshwater biomes: Large lakes, Large river deltas, Polar freshwaters, Montane freshwaters, Temperate coastal rivers, Temperate floodplain rivers and wetlands, Temperate upland rivers, Tropical and subtropical coastal rivers, Tropical and subtropical floodplain rivers and wetlands. Tropical and subtropical upland rivers Xeric freshwaters and endoric basins Oceanic islands Topic. Biomes marine. Biomes of the coastal and continental shelf areas neritic zone. Polar Temperate shelves and sea Temperate upwelling Tropical upwelling Tropical coral Topic. Summary of the scheme Biosphere Biogeographic realms terrestrial 8 Ecoregions 867, each characterized by a main biome type 14 Ecosystems biotopes Biosphere Biogeographic realms freshwater 8 Ecoregions 426, each characterized by a main biome type 12. Ecosystems biotopes. Biosphere. Biogeographic realms marine 12. Marine provinces 62. Ecoregions 232, each characterized by a main biome type 5. Ecosystems biotopes example. Biosphere. Biogeographic realm, Palearctic Ecoregion, Dinaric Mountains Mixed Forests PAO 418, Biome Type, Temperate Broadleaf and Mixed Forests Ecosystem, Orion, Vegetation Belt between 1100 to 1450 meters, Oro-Mediterranean Zone, Nemoral Zone, Temperate Zone Biotope, Oreoherzogio abiotita malirica fuck. Plant List Plant, silver fir, Abies alba. Topic: Other biomes. Topic: Marine biomes. Prove it. 1896 zones or systems. Littoral zone. Pelagic zone. Abyssal zone Longhurst 1998 biomes coastal polar trade wind westerly other marine habitat types not covered yet by the global 200 WWF scheme open sea deep sea hydrothermal vents cold seeps benthic zone pelagic zone trades and westerlies abyssal Paddle Ocean Trench Littoral, Intertidal Zone Kelp Forest Pack Ice Topic. Anthropogenic biomes Humans have altered global patterns of biodiversity and ecosystem processes. As a result, vegetation forms predicted by conventional biome systems can no longer be observed across much of Earth's land surface as they have been replaced by crop and rangelands or cities. Anthropogenic biomes provide an alternative view of the terrestrial biosphere based on global patterns of sustained direct human interaction with ecosystems, including agriculture, human settlements, urbanization, forestry and other uses of land. Anthropogenic biomes offer a new way forward in ecology and conservation by recognizing the irreversible coupling of human and ecological systems at global scales and moving us toward an understanding of how best to live in and manage our biosphere and the anthropogenic biomes we live in. Major anthropogenic biomes Dense settlements Croplands Rangelands Forested Indoor Topic. Microbial biomes <laughs> 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 
Topic: <inaudible> Endolithic biomes. The endolithic biome, consisting entirely of microscopic life in rock pores and cracks, kilometers beneath the surface, has only recently been discovered, and does not fit well into most classification schemes. <laughs> See also <laughs>